Well, not so for food for thoughts. For me, I also picked up lots of important messages, and that could really provide some guidance uh, for our future research. So, first of all, why we selected these topics: climate change, price and volatility, uh, rebuilding after emergencies. Well, obviously, there are many factors affecting global food security: long-term, short-term. But the climate change will affect this region um, in a special way. Most of the countries will be vulnerable to climate change, and uh, probably the countries will be affected uh, by, let's say, again, uh, through different channels. So climate change uh, is very much linked to uh, food security in short term and long term. And the um, rebuilding of an emergency, you know, this, this region, again, are very vulnerable to natural disasters, as you have, uh, as you have observed in 2004, a tsunami, again, another earthquake. Um, so I think important lessons can be drawn and can, can, be, um, can be learned. The value chain, uh, again, could help, could provide opportunity for these countries to transform, the transformation uh, of the, the agriculture in the region. We experienced the first transformation during the Green Revolution, but second trans transformation still yet to come. So the, through the value chain, through um, linking smallholders to market. Now, so what I learned from, from, um, from this workshop, first, on the climate change, we do not have much evidence, do, we do not have much data. And, and we don't know how to intervene. For example, the timing, as Bob mentioned, the timing, sequencing. So all these different interventions, how can we prioritize them, sequence them over time? Uh, what, what incentives we can design for different actors to act, the smallholders, uh, local government, even national government. Within national government, different ministries definitely have different in interests. The Ministry of Agriculture, and what, what would be their incentive to integrate climate change into their agricultural and the rural development strategy? So <coughs> we still have a lot of things that we don't know. And with regard to rebuilding at emergencies, yeah, we heard that local governance, cultural, uh, even open trade and market are very important uh, in Pakistan, in Bangladesh, and in this country. Now, my question is, okay, after seven years of the tsunami here, can we analyze who have recovered, who have not? Who have rebuilt successfully, who have not? Which factors affected that, that, particularly at household level? I mean, this is a very important question to, to ask, probably a very important research question to address. Then with regard to val the value chain, so I'm very excited to hear uh, what have happened in China and India, very dynamic, uh, very dynamic, uh, ha what have happened uh, in, in, in the value, value chain market. But what, are we, what we don't know is, again, distributional uh, impact of the value chain. The impact on poverty, impact on smallholders' income. Uh, so far, uh, the evidence is still very much limited. Then, labor market. Yeah, well, the case of China might be different because the pooling factor, the urbanization, industrialization, so a lot of labor have been poured to the urban centers. But in many other countries, the urbanization has not as fast as China. Uh, so the impact on small traders, on retailers, not organized retailers, probably cannot be ignored. Then the, the question about investment. Yes, indeed, um, he, the chief economist from the World Bank uh, illustrated a very interesting, interesting diagram to show the agricultural investment composition. Look at the increase of the subsidies. That subsidy has increased tremendously. In the meantime, investment in public goods has declined. So how can we really better prioritize the investment, not only providing public goods, but also to attract private investment? And Finally, the nutrition aspect has not been mentioned here. 
Uh, it seems to me sometimes we equate food security to, a, to a self-sufficiency. And then we equate food security to rice self-sufficiency. So rice, rice is, is the number one commodity here, uh, not only here, in China and uh, Japan. You know, I grew up by eating rice, uh, but now today I eat very little rice. The doctor told me about five or ten years ago, told me that I should stop eating rice because it's not healthy to me. I think this sort of knowledge information about uh, the health impact of different commodities uh, should be widely available to uh, consumers and the producers here. And obviously the climate change, the, ca the, uh, the, the carbon emission impact of the rice production needs to be uh, internalized into, into the pricing. So if we include nutrition and uh, the climate change externalities into price, into rice pricing, so that can really help to optimize uh, the, the consumption pattern. Now, lots of questions here, not only from the country, also from, from the region. I think IPRI is very, very much committed to collaborate with regional and national institutions. So that's, this is why uh, we have our board meeting here. That's, this is why we have a workshop here, just to engage a national and a regional stakeholders looking for opportunities uh, to collaborate in the future. So finally, I wanted to thank um, the organizers of this, um, of this workshop, local organizers of this workshop, uh, the, the, the National Agriculture Research System and the Poverty Reduction Agency. Uh, I also wanted to thank some of our staff here, uh, Stacy, Maro, and uh, Abby, in helping uh, setting up a logistic support. Um, so finally, our board. So our board has been with us for the whole day. So they, they have behaved very well, good speakers, good listeners, and also right, uh, asked the right questions. I think the engagement of the board uh, with uh, the, the workshop is, is very critical. Um, so thank you for, for your participation. And other speakers, participants, thank you so much. And, uh, and next time, hopefully we'll have another chance uh, to, have, uh, to, to, to continue to, uh, to dialogue on such, on such an important issues like climate change, food security, linking smallholders to market, the role of agriculture in transforming the whole economy and the rural economy. So I thank you very much. I declare the workshop at Germany.